done. Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. Built to the bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. You must be Scratch. Bob's told us all about you. I'm Scoop. And I'm Muck. Welcome to the team, Scratch. How you doing? Oh, I I'm kind of scared. I want to fit in. Don't worry. You'll feel at home in no time. Yeah, especially when Bob gives you your first job. Oh, I wonder what it'll be. Morning, team. And welcome, Scratch. Yeah! Today you'll see what everyone does. We're working on the gardens at Fixum Museum. A big exhibition of historical things from Fixum opens tomorrow. Um, what's historical? It means something that's really, really old, Dizzy. Oh, goody! There'll be lots of digging for us to do, Muck. Yeah! Let's get muddy! Yes, but there'll be lots of other jobs, too. Like flattening the ground to lay the new grass. That's me! And concrete in the picnic area. Woohoo! That's my job, Bob! And then there's the touch and smell garden. Oh, oh, I can help with that, I think. Oh, me next! Okay, so Lofty, you can pick up the pergola from the builder's yard, and Scrambler, you can get some new grass. The rest of us, off to the museum. Oh, but everyone has a job except me. What am I going to do? Ah, oh, good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Bobby. Now, do let me know if you need anything, won't you? I'll be in the museum polishing the exhibits. Wow! Mr. Mogney's in charge of all this? Scratch. Huh? You can watch the others today to see what they do. Just watch? But I want to work. Come on, Scratchy. See what big diggers are made of. OK. Can we build it? Yes, we, we can. can. Oh, uh, I think so. Uh, so do I. Part of the team. I know. I'm gonna ask Muck and Scoop if I can help. Scoop, Muck, do you think that maybe I could help? Well, Bob said to watch first, Scratch. Yeah, you have to dig very carefully. See? Watch and learn, Scratch. Okay. Aww. Oh, I just want a job. Hey. Maybe I'll go see Rolly. <laughs> ah! Oh, uh, hi there, little Scratchy. What's up? Could I help you, Rolly? <laughs> nah, I'm okay, thanks, Scratch. You can watch, though. Watch, not work. See how slowly I roll to get the ground super flat? Watch and learn, Scratchy. Watch and learn. Okay. Hello, Scratch. How's it all going? Okay, thanks, Wendy. But I would like to do something. Well, you could ask Bob if there's anything to do at the Touch and Smell Garden. Oh, yeah! Oh, thanks! Mmm, these herbs smell great! That's the idea of a touch and smell garden, Dizzy. All the plants either feel nice to touch or are nice to smell. Bob, Wendy thought you might have something for me to do. Oh, well, 
We're nearly finished here, thanks. But you could always watch. It's the best way to learn. Okay, Bob. I'll watch. You see, Scratch? I'm putting it down softly. Ah. Ah. Oh. No one will let me help, Mr. Gull. Ah. I know. I could practice digging on my own. Look, Mr. Gull, Muck and Scoop dug out big bucketfuls of dirt. But all I can do is scratch tiny little holes. Hey, there's something in the ground. <gasps> Treasure! I should dig it out. Oh. But what if I mess it up? Scrambler! I, I was practicing digging because nobody wanted me to help, and now I think I found some treasure. Treasure? Uh, awesome! We heard some funny clanking noises. What's going on? Scratch found treasure! Treasure? Wow. Maybe it's historical. I think you two should get it out. You're much better diggers than me. Woohoo! Let's get money! After you, Scoop. No, Muck. After you. It's okay. You can go first. No, you can go first. All right. All right. Oh, oh, no. oh. 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 I got oh. my bucket stuck with yours. Oh. What's going on, oh. huh? Oh, oh. oh. oh Mr. Gull. They're going to break the treasure. Oh. Stop! I've learned lots from watching all of you today. But no more watching. It's time for me to work. Okay, dig carefully like muck. Then move slowly like Rolly and put it down softly like Lofty. Yeah! <laughs> What's going on? Scratch found treasure, Bob. <laughs> and I dug it up all by myself. Good job, Scratch. Uh, is it historical? Yes, I think you dug up a really old vase. But David Mockney will be expecting these gardens to be finished. So, back to work, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Muckney. And we wanted to show you something we found. I don't believe it. It's the famous Muckney Mung vase. <gasps> it's been lost for years. Until now. To whom do I owe my thanks? Oh, uh, it was me, sir, Mr. Muckney, sir. I'm Scratch. Well, Scratch, this vase is going to be the prize of my Fixum treasures display. Yay! Yay! Good job, Scratch. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. You were right. I did learn a lot by watching. Yes, you really were the machine for the job today. We're proud to have you on our team. Yay! <laughs> We find out whose playtime build idea the school children chose today. Yeah, and there's only one idea they're gonna pick. Mine! My tree house is the awesomest idea ever! <laughs> Hi, everyone. I just had a call from Ella Stevenson, the teacher. The children have decided. And? And they'll announce the winner of the school today. Oh! is the best, and it's gonna beat the rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
everybody. The children have chosen their favorite. And the winner is... Rolly's Timber Trail! Me? Really? Congratulations, <laughs> Rolly! Good job! <laughs> what about my tree house? So, uh, what is a timber trail, Rolly? It's like an adventure trail that you play in, Scratch. It has tires to jump in and swinging logs and beams to walk along. That sounds brilliant! Yeah, great. My idea was as good as Rolly's. How come he won and I didn't? <laughs> I know, Pilchard. I'm gonna build my treehouse on my own. Then they'll see it was the best idea all along. Awesome! Rolly, since your idea won, I'd like you to be in charge today. The me? In charge? <laughs> Rock and roll! Go on, Rolly. Um, well, team, um, materials. Now, what do we need? Here, Rolly. I put a plan of your timber trail on my computer. Oh, yeah. The first thing we need is rubber. I know where there's some rubber. Thank you, Scoop. You're in charge of picking up rubber. Yes, boss. <laughs> What's next? Oh, yeah, wood. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I know where there's some wood. You can be in charge of getting the wood, Lofty. So, the only thing left is rope. Scrambler, would you pick that up, please? Uh, okay. Hey, I could use rope for my treehouse, too. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, I think so. Just need some stuff to build it with, without spoiling my surprise. Well, here are the materials. <gasps> Little mice, Bob. Oh, well, that's not the best place for them to live. Huh? <laughs> we'll put them in this box for now and find them a better home later. Don't worry, little mice. I'll be back for you soon. Oh, perfect for a treehouse rope ladder, Pilchard. <laughs> now, off to find some more stuff for me. Wow! Look at all this! No one will mind if I borrow just a little bit for my treehouse. But I'm sure I said three pieces of fence. Don't worry, Rolly. It's okay. We can start the balance beams. Oh, no. I didn't order enough. And we still don't have a new house for you, little mice. I hope nothing else goes wrong. Huh? <coughs> oh, man. This is harder than I thought. Some different stuff. They look like they're having fun. Rolly, I thought we we're supposed to have seven balance beams. We only have five. I only have four tires. I should have six. Oh, no. Everything's gone wrong. 
Maybe someone else should have won. Don't worry, Rolly. Scoop can get the missing materials, then your timber trail will be finished in no time. No prob, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Oh, what about the little mice? As soon as we're finished, we'll build them a nice new home. I promise. Oh, no. Rolly's sad. And it's all my fault. Oh, I took all that stuff they need to make my treehouse. Oh, and look at it. It doesn't look anything like a treehouse. It's not even in a tree. Oh, I'm no good on my own. I miss being part of Bob's team. Looks amazing. Oh, but Bob, can we build a house for the mice now? Yes, Rolly. We'll do it now. That is awesome. No wonder you won, Rolly. Oh, thank you. But I messed up huh? and didn't order enough stuff. Rolly, you did order enough stuff, but I took it. What do you mean? Well, I thought my idea was best, so I tried to build it but I couldn't do it by myself. And I nearly messed up your timber trail. I'm really sorry. Your idea was the best. Don't worry, Scrambler. I forgive you. So, where is this treehouse of yours, huh? It's really, really, um, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scrambler, maybe we can use your treehouse. Remember the little mice? Well, with a bit of work, this would make them a cozy new home. Maybe all kinds of animals could live here. I'm sure Ella and the children would love that. Home. Built by Scrambler. No, not just me, Rolly. It was a team effort, guys. A team that I love being a part of. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything's such a mess after that big storm last night. Oh, uh, don't worry, Wendy. We'll soon get everything tidied up. Hey, you two. You're supposed to be helping, not splashing. Oh, nasty wet water. You're not worried about a little water, are you? Um, oh. We're not worried about getting wet, are we, Muck? No way! Oh, uh, neither am I. Morning, team. We have an urgent job. The old harbor pier fell down in the storm last night. We have to go and rebuild it right away. But what's a pier, Bob? I'll show you when we get to the harbor, Lofty. Come on, team. So, that's what the old pier looked like. But now it's gone. Yes, Muck. We need to build a new pier by the end of the day. Oh, we better hurry up. Yeah. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Scoop, I need you to clear all the broken stuff from the old pier platform. No prob, Bob. And Dizzy, can you pour some more concrete to make it level? OK, Bob. Then I'll make it nice and flat. Um, what about me, Bob? You'll be lowering the new wooden posts into the sand, Lofty. Then we'll build the new pier on top. Let's get started! Uh, Bob, why did the pier fall down? 
It was really old, Lofty, and the wooden posts were all rotten. See? The wood's got all soft. That's what happens when you stay in the water too long. <laughs> yeah, watch out, Muck. Don't get your wheels wet. I knew getting wet wasn't a good idea. We'll have to work fast while the tide is still out. The ocean moves? Yes, Lofty. At high tide, the water comes right up here. At low tide, it's further away. Oh, um, okay. So, the ocean's not here now, but it's coming back? Ah. I don't want to get wet and fall apart like the old pier did. Ah. Uh, Bob, where should I start putting the posts in? Well, Lofty, the end of the pier used to be just where that float is. Right by the water? Oh, um, okay, Bob. That's it. Closer, Lofty. Oh, uh, it's, it's just the... Uh, ah! oh, oh, no. Sorry, Bob. It's okay, Lofty. We have a few more. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, yes. We do need some more. I'll send Lofty. Thanks. Bye. Lofty, I need you to go to the supplies yard and pick up some more posts and planks, please. Okay, Bob. But how do I get there? I can't remember. Bob, can you help with the cement, please? Yes, just coming. Rolly, can you tell Lofty the way to the supplies yard? I just have to go help Dizzy. Sure thing, Bob. Okay. You need to go along the coast road, Lofty, and then turn right. The coast road? Oh, that's near the ocean. Uh, I think I'll go on the road through the hills instead. But the coast road's much quicker, Lofty. And we've never been the other way. I hope. There, finished. But where's Lofty with the wood? Hello, Bob the Builder. I see. Okay, thank you. That was the supplies yard. Lofty hasn't even arrived yet. He wouldn't take the coast road, Bob. He went through the hills instead. Oh, well, Grabber's on his way to look for him. But I wonder why he went the wrong way. It wasn't that way, so, uh, it must be this way. Oh! Howdy, partner. Where have you been? Oh, Grabber, I've been trying to find the supplies yard. Don't worry. Follow me. Oh, uh, I'm sorry I'm late. I got kind of lost. Why didn't you take the coast road, like I said? Because, uh, it goes near the ocean. Lofty, you're back! We have to fit the last of those posts. The tide's coming in. Is it finished now, Bob? Almost, Lofty. I just need some paint. Uh, can I test out the pier while you're gone, Bob? Of course. See you in a minute. Ooh, it'll be fun to be up here while the tide comes back in. Oh, oh, the ocean. Is it coming closer? <gasps> Lofty, what have you done? I can't get back. Oh, no. My tires are going to disappear in the water like the pier did. <laughs> Must 
save Gizzy before the water comes in. Oh, going for a swim, Lofty. What? Oh, no! Lofty, you were brilliant. You rescued me. I know, but my tires got wet in the ocean. Now I'm going to fall apart like the pier did. <laughs> oh, Lofty, that won't happen to you. Oh, but won't it? No, wood can <laughs> fall apart in the water eventually, but your tires aren't made of wood. They're waterproof. Oh, oh, phew! There. Hmm, it looks just like the old one. Good job, team. You were really brave, Lofty. I didn't know you were worried about the water. Yeah, sorry we splashed you. Oh, it's okay. I'm not worried anymore. <laughs> See? Team, I've just had a call from David Mockney, the artist. He wants a whole new room built on the site of Fixum Museum today. He's having a show of his paintings, and the grand opening is tomorrow. Look. Ooh, artists paint pictures and know about different colors and stuff, don't they? Yes, and David Mockney doesn't just paint. He's a sculptor, too. He makes models of things. Wow, that's really cool. I can't wait to meet him. OK, everyone. We don't have much time, so we really need to work as a team today. Let's go. Wow, that's one of David Mockney's paintings. Brilliant, isn't it? And look at that. He runs this museum and knows all about the old things inside it. He made this sculpture, too. Imagine being good at all those things. All I can do is dig. David Mockney's brilliant at lots of things, Scoop. But I bet he's not brilliant at digging. <laughs> yeah, maybe. OK, let's look at the job. We're joining the old building to the new one with a glass walkway. There's a sloping roof and a big door with a stained glass window above it. First, we need to roll the ground flat. Rolly, that's your job. Rock and roll, Bob. Then muck, scoop, and scratch. You can dig the foundations. Let's get money. Digging foundations is all right. But I want to try being good at something else, too. <gasps> like being an artist. Good day to you all. Good day to you, Mr. Mockney. I'm Scoop. Now, I've decided to paint a picture on the side wall of the new building. What do you think? That's a great idea, Mr. Mockney. How about using sunny yellow paint to match the pillars and the stained glass window. Fabulous idea, Scoot. Um, it's Scoop. Now, I'll need lots of paint. Uh, could you spare young Scoot to take me to the supplier's yard, Bob? Oh, please, Bob. Well, OK, but don't take too long. There's a lot to do. I'll call to say you're on your way. Super. I'll just get my painting kit. a great artist, just like Mr. Mockney. But Scoop, you're a brilliant digger. Why do you need to be an artist, too? Well, 
Maybe I don't want to be just a digger. <gasps> but Scoop, you love being a digger. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I can't be good at something else, too. Okay, team, let's get started. Can we build it? Yes, we can! can. Oh, uh, I think so. <laughs> Please, Scoot, call me David. So, how do you choose what to paint, Mr. Mockney? Uh, I mean, David? Ooh, there are ideas everywhere if you look for them. Can we paint a picture now? Then you could teach me to be a great artist like you. <laughs> Thank you, Scoot. Um, but we really should get to the supplier's yard. <gasps> wow! Let's paint this view. Please, David. Well... It is rather stunning, I must say. Oh, why not? Hooray! I'm going to be an artist! <gasps> Woo, this is a tough job. <sighs> yeah. We could do with Scoop right now. I hope Scoop's on his way back. Oh, look at those clouds, David. You must paint them. They're simply stunning. But, Scoot, we really should get to the supplier's yard. Look at the sky. <gasps> You're right. What a pretty color. We have to paint it, David. Well, just one more. Then we really must go. Bob? Over there, please, Wendy. They're for the flower beds, which Scoop is supposed to be digging. Where is Scoop, Bob? I don't know, Muck. I just called the supplier's yard. He hasn't even arrived yet, and they're closing soon. Oh, David, it's really good. Thank you, Scoot. And finished just in time. It's getting dark. Oh, no. You're right. We better get to the supplier's yard. Oh, no! It's closed. Oh, dear. I wanted to be an artist as well as a digger, but I didn't even paint anything. I just asked you to. Now it's all gone wrong, and it's all my fault. <laughs> Scoop, thank goodness you're back. Now, we really need to take care of these flower beds as quickly as we can. No prop, Bob. I'll dig as fast as I can, or even faster. Could I help plant the flowers? Oh, that'd be great, Mr. Mockney. I'm really sorry, David. I got carried away wanting to be an artist. Now you can't paint your big picture. And the job isn't finished. Not to worry, Scoot. These things happen. Scrambler was right. I'm a digger, not an artist. I suppose I am a good digger. But it would have been nice to be an artist, too. Wow! My goodness! I don't need to paint my picture now. We've made a fantastic flower bed picture instead. Scoot, you are a natural artist. Oh, thanks! 
Thank you, David. I couldn't have done it without you. And it's Scoop, by the way. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Scoop, silly me. <laughs> That's brilliant, Scoop. Yeah, good to have you back. Hey, I'm a digger and an artist. I'm sorry I let you all down today, but at least now I'm sure being a digger is the best job in the world. Team? Oh, I'll explain later, Lofty. Hello, Hello Bob! Hello, Hello Wendy. Wendy! Where are we going today, Bob? To the beach, Scoop. Come on! Yo! I'm Bradley Radical. But everyone just calls me Brad Rad, man. <laughs> Hi, Brad. I'm Bob. This is Wendy and my team. Hi, Hi there, Brad. <laughs> Far out, man. Have you dudes come to fix up my surf school? Yes. I'll show you the plans. The walls and the roof are in good shape, so we can just fix them. Next, we'll lay a new concrete floor. The walls and roof go back. Then we'll fix the deck and veranda. And last of all, we'll paint everything and add the special surfboard racks. Wow! Bob, it's gonna look radical! That surf speed for totally amazing! But what do you do at a surf school? You learn to surf, dude! You lie on your surfboard in the water, wait for a wave, then stand up and ride it all the way to the beach like this! That sounds like fun! You'll have lots of space to store all your surfboards in the new surf school, Brad. Yeah, and my safety equipment, too. Like my floats out there, they show where it's safe to surf. Hey, one of the floats is missing. Dudes, I can't open the surf school without that safety float. Oh, dear. Well, don't worry. We'll keep a lookout for it. Yeah! It can't be hard to find a giant yellow ball. Well, team, let's get started. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. The walls can go back now. Can you get them, Lofty? Oh, okay, Bob. Let's play Monster Chase. My turn to be the monster! <laughs> Run away! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> a monster's chasing us! <laughs> oh, I don't want to see a monster. I'm going to close my eyes till it's gone. Lofty! What are you doing? Oh, where's the monster? Oh, oops, I've ruined the concrete. I'm sorry, Bob. Don't worry. It hasn't set yet, so Rolly can flatten it again. But you must try to look where you're going. Yes, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Can you take this roof section over to Bob Lofty? Oh, uh, okay, Wendy. Oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> the monster's Whoa! coming! Look out! Oh, 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 no! I can hear it roaring! I'm closing my eyes again. <laughs> Lofty, are you okay? Is the monster gone? I'm not opening my eyes until it is. There's no monster here, Lofty. But I can hear it roaring. Listen. Ah! 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 
look lofty. It's just a seagull. Ah! Oh! Oh! Now I've broken the roof! Can you fix it, Bob? Yes, Lofty, I can. Whoa! Bob, you've nearly finished! Yes! I just need you to pick up the racks for the surfboards from the yard, Lofty. Oh, okay, Bob. Uh, Bob? What's that? It's me, Splasher! Whoa! Radical! I've come to help look for the missing float. Thanks! I'll come with you, dude. Mr. Lofty? The one Scrambler, Scoop, and Dizzy keep running away from. Oh, no, Bob. It's our fault. We were playing Monster Chase. Yeah, it's just pretend, Lofty. Pretend? But what about those monster footprints? Oh, they're not footprints, Lofty. They're Splasher's tire tracks. Yeah, I've been looking for the missing float. Brad's still searching. I've been silly, haven't I? I wish I kept my eyes open. Then I wouldn't have broken the surfboard rack. Don't worry. I can fix it. I'm really sorry I didn't explain Monster Chase clearly, Lofty. It's okay, Dizzy. Next time I'm scared, I'm gonna keep my eyes open and take a closer look. Huh? <gasps> What's that? Something's coming. Oh, no. Maybe there really is a monster. Scream! <laughs> I'm not going to close my eyes this time. I'm going to look. <sighs> Yo, dude. It's not a monster. It's Brad Brad. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, what's that behind you? Behind us? It's covered in seaweed, but underneath, it's big. It's yellow. Oh, oh, the big yellow, yellow monster. monster! No, it's the float. Open your eyes. Huh? You found the missing float. Totally radical, Lofty. Ha! I did it! I'm totally radical! That means I'm good, right? Oh, thanks, dudes. This surf school is totally awesome. You ready for your surf lesson, Bob? Huh? Oh, That's right, Bob. Uh, oh, You're doing just gnarly. Oh, oh, Bob, you can do it. Be brave and open your eyes. That's it, Bob. You're surfing! Radical! <laughs> 